Murdawahi Reservoir in South Dakota. So many memories from this part of the country. Just one of those places that's real special to me. Growing up ranching is a simple life. It taught me values crucial to carrying on our heritage. Living off the land and taking care of the animals on it was part of life. From the mountains in Montana, the deer stands in Texas, to the plains of Africa, I have been blessed to go on these great adventures. This is where we practice conservation. Hunting and fishing plays a major part in this effort. Being out here with my family, my friends, is what makes memories that will carry me through my lifetime. I'm just a simple blue collar guy with a passion for the outdoors, and I want to bring that to you. Well, this year we flew in. We brought our best of the West set up. We've been shooting the Huskimo system this last year. I went through all the schools with Joe Cunningham and actually became an instructor, but it's exciting. This is the country these guns are designed for, and to have a mule deer tag after so long excites me a lot. Crystal's a great shot. She's been going through all this with me, and uh, we just landed in Rapid City, and I can't wait to get to Eagle Butte. Been coming up here the last 15 years. Uh, I've got very close with the Lakota family up here, the Farleys. And the memories I have from here, just, that's what we go for. And to bring new people up here every year, I've got to bring lots of friends up and hunt. That's what it's kind of all about at this stage for me, is bringing new people. This year I'm bringing Crystal. She's been with me on another hunt. We hunted whitetail here last year in pheasant, but the mule deer tag has been one that's been hard to draw for a long time. We finally drew it. I know how much this place means to Jay. He's been coming here for years, and it's just exciting to travel around to all the spots and hear all of his stories of everything that's happened to him in the past here. The reservoir is absolutely gorgeous. Blue Collar Adventures is brought to you by Glacier, simply the world's finest. Wicked Tree Gear, Tecamati, Huskama Optics, Stealth Cameras, Fleer Hunting and Outdoors, Kuyu Ultralight Hunting. We've been coming here long enough that we've made friends all over the reservation. We take a, a tour here, you know, it's, there's so much open country to hunt, so many places to look. There's some bottoms and breaks by the river. We had to take a ride up north to White Horse to see our friend Steve Grossman from Prairie Wings Lodge about this tag that we drew is it's any deer so I can shoot a big whitetail or I can shoot a mule deer. And South Dakota offers some of the biggest whitetail I've ever got to hunt so it's gonna be a tough choice. We see a big whitetail it's gonna be hard for me to hold off and save my mule deer tag but I really want to get after a mule deer this year. It's been a while we've been hunting really hard the last few years archery in Nevada with no success. Um, it's just a tough hunt so to have a chance at a really good mule deer with a rifle, it kind of, it, it excites me. And to have the opportunity to see how my long range works, that's even more exciting. 
tell us about it? Well, it's about five degrees. And so we brought this blind from Enterprise Rent-A-Car, sitting on the mountain looking at giant white-tailed bucks, just a touch out of range. But we do have best of the West. We have shot a thousand yards a lot. The wind lays down. We're gonna try one. Mule deer hunt, that's what's great about it up here. We got an anti deer tag. We hadn't seen any mature mule deer yet. And we found two big mature whitetail. They're about 1,100 yards out there in the flats. Just gotta wait them out. Maybe have an encrustable. I'm making breakfast right now. They're thawing out. Well, I don't know what it is with Jay, but he has this addiction to these uncrustables. Um, well, we went to the store to get supplies. We had to buy all these boxes of Uncrustable sandwiches to pack around in the rental truck with us. And that's what we lived off for several days. Mm. <laughs> I want one. Bringing our best of the West long range rifles up here. I thought we could shoot something pretty easy, but this is a totally different kind of terrain. Um, I haven't ever hunted any kind of terrain like this. Being from Idaho, up in the mountains, I'm used to being able to get up high and glass. Well, days go by and we really haven't seen a mature mule deer. It's two days before we have to go home and we haven't got one chance at a deer. We've seen a few whitetail way off and we're starting to decide if we're gonna shoot a whitetail. And I get a random message from a guy that I'd met in Texas, Lynn Williams, and he said, hey, I've got a great buck over here the other day. There might be a few more left. Why don't you guys come take a ride over? And that's cool. I think that's so neat that people are like that, that offer up that. And that's what's great about hunting and, and the lifestyle we live is you can make a friend in about 10 minutes. You have a conversation, you guys hit it off, and now we're invited to his house to hunt his ranch. Can't wait. I can't wait to get out there and see what we can see. Blue Collar Adventures is brought to you by Carbon Express, Traeger Wood Pellet Grills, the state of South Dakota, Cinnamon Creek Ranch Ultimate Archery, Newmont Mining Corporation, demonstrating leadership and safety and stewardship of the environment. So Lynn's a cattle rancher up here in South Dakota, married a Texas girl, and we sit and have a little coffee and he shows me some places to go. And uh, a close place in South Dakota is probably about three or four miles away. So we've got a lot of country to cover, a lot of optics to uh, look through. We've got our vortex here. We've got my kaibabs, which I think is one of the best tools that I have to find a big mule deer. So we start glassing bottoms. We start looking in the river bottoms. We see mule deer way off in the distance. There's whitetail chasing down by the river. So it's a beautiful place to be. And just, just the excitement to be here and get to see these animals out here. That's what it's all about in South Dakota. We're glassing the bottoms and Lynn's out checking cows and he's got a long ways to go to check cows. And we get a phone call. He saw a giant mule deer buck to meet up with him and let's go see if we can find him. These, these breaks are so deep that you can walk right up on a mule deer. And so I turned my power down, we're walking towards this draw that he thought he saw this buck and literally we pop over the top and here's this buck in bow range. So I kind of have to wait, let him do his thing. He runs off, he drops down the canyon and perfectly comes up 200 yards away, stops broadside.
get him? Yeah. Oh, he laying back. <laughs> That's the biggest buck I've ever got, my really? friend. Thank you. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, that is a big buck. <laughs> wow. Guys, this is South Dakota at its finest. I've been coming up here for years. I met Lynn a few years ago in Texas. And uh, that's what it's about, meeting great people. He shot a monster the other day, and that is a beautiful buck. And we just got him. And uh, it's a dream come true. I've been wanting to come to South Dakota and shoot a buck for 10 years. And this is the first time they've really? got it. Yes, sir. Oh, what a dream come true. Golly, I'm going to look at it. Well, uh, I got my my South Dakota mule deer after a long, long wait. I've been coming a long time to get him. Pretty excited, pretty excited. Old mature buck, Lynn had killed a giant 4x4 here a couple weeks ago and said he's been seeing some others, so I'm just pretty blessed to get to come out here and enjoy his place in this country. And we're pretty excited just to get to look around. But this place is amazing up here. This is a huge three by three, which I think is pretty cool because this big, long dagger in the back. So I am pretty tickled. Blue Collar Adventures is brought to you by Taco Casa, real fresh, real food, real good. Nature Blinds, the most realistic hunting blinds on the planet. Spot Hog, the world's toughest archery products. Vortex Optics, the force of optics. You know, I got my buck down. This is a giant three by three, and I think that's pretty awesome. You know, I'd love to have a big deep fork four by four, but the tines on this three by three, you just don't get one of these every day. He's 28 inches wide, and just a great buck. I've got my mule deer down. And we thought it was over. We thought, thank you so much for coming. Uh, thanks for letting us come hunt a deer. And Lynn looks at Chris and said, well, you have a tag, don't you? I was ex so excited. He said we could go look for another buck, and I was game. I was ready for this. Part of hunting South Dakota is the exploration. Every hill you top is new country, and you can see for miles. And we decided we're gonna go down and look at some breaks that Sometimes there's mule deer out, but just to see some good scenery, we go through about 18 gates, and we come up to a spot that's the perfect scenario. If there's a mule deer buck down there, it's a Huskimar commercial, because they'll, they won't know we're there. They'll be long range, and we'll have all day to make a shot. We park the truck, and Jay and Lynn get out to glass, and I'm grabbing my stuff, and then I hear Lynn get all excited and say, there's a buck, there's a buck, get ready. So I grab my rifle and there's like a little edge that overlooks down into this creek bottom. And so we're crawling up there to look over and I'm just, my heart is just pounding. Perfect timing. We pop over the top and Lynn spots a buck out there and he's a pretty good buck. Crystal's up. So we start belly crawling up to the edge to get a good shot at him. I'm watching I see some movement on my left, and I glass over to my left, and there's a bigger buck standing there. I throw my vortex up, and this is a really nice buck, and Crystal starts going, what about this other buck? We look to our left, here's this perfect classic, four by four, feeding in the brush, has no idea we're there, and I just realized that Crystal's gonna shoot a way bigger buck than me. I'm getting adjusted, I'm getting my best of the West rifle set up, laying prone, trying to get really comfortable, and usually I'm the camera person, so to switch the roles with Jay, because I have to turn off my camera mode and turn on my hunting mode. Well, I get, I get set up on him, and all of a sudden, I can hear Jay's camera start beeping. 
I'm running the camera, I'm trying to make sure it's all right. This buck has no idea we're there. And the camera runs out of card, this new camera we have, and there's an alarm on it that I didn't know about. It starts beeping. So it's beeping, Crystal's ready to shoot. I'm trying to make sure I'm in focus. We have a doe run off, the other buck runs off. It's getting pretty, pretty heated, pretty tense. No, not yet. Why is so I'm like, are you ready? Are you ready? And he's like, no, not yet, not yet. And I'm like stressing. Ready on this buck, I'm dialed in at about 370, and he starts walking. And I'm like, come on, Jay, are you ready? It was really intense, but he gets a little bit further, and Jay's like, take him. Whenever you're ready, let him stop. Just take your time. I'm freezing. Yeah. No, no, not yet. He's turned away too much. Is she ran the horns. Ready? Yeah. Oh yeah, he got it. He got it. I saw him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy cow. I'm so uh, excited. That's the biggest meal deer I've seen on this trip. That's the biggest meal deer I've ever, ever seen, I think. Oh my gosh. Sorry, babe. It's a little bit earlier. Jeez. <laughs> that's a toad. Let me tell you, I get people all the time that I want to go hunt on the show with you. This right here is why you don't want to hunt on the show. Crystal's having a meltdown. I can't get the deer in focus, and it's a little more pressure. This buck could run off at any time. Luckily, I get focused. She gets her Husqvarna turret dialed in, and she makes a perfect shot. Holy cow. Wow, what a pretty buck. Wow. He's awesome. Thanks to my best of the West, my husband with scope. I love this guy. Thanks to Lynn. Thanks to Lynn. Lynn's got his South Dakota rancher coveralls on. That's put us on two bucks in two hours. Hour. It's not even lunch. You got lunch? You got lunch? You yeah. leaking? <laughs> we got some cold chicken in the truck. <laughs> that was awesome. He was almost 400 yards. 392. That's probably the longest I've ever shot. The farthest for something big. So cool. Thank you so much, Lynn. Poor conditions. All we've been seeing is some young bucks. And then Jay talked to a friend of his that, that that invited us out. Two for two. Jay got his this morning and I got mine. It's pretty exciting. These are what we dream about as mule deer hunters. This is a beautiful mature buck. She made a great shot with her best of the West. And it doesn't get much better than that. I love my guy. Nice 400 yard shot. He never knew we were there. We are up on that, that butte. That's what dreams are made of right there. I feel so blessed. Right before Thanksgiving. Pretty thankful. I'm gonna have to saw these off so he's more like mine. <laughs> huh? Thank you. What a, an amazing blessing to meet a guy in Texas that invites you out to, to hunt his place. We got two lifetime bucks. But I think the smile on his face was seeing us be so happy. I was raised to always take care of your meat that you harvest. I really like to vacuum seal and package all of our own meat just so it stays fresh and when we cook on our Traeger grill I like to have big chunks of backstrap, like long pieces. I don't like 
little steaks, they're not juicy, they don't cook as good. And so just to be able to do our own meat, um, it really pays off to package our own meat. Coming up here for so long, I've got to meet such amazing people. And over the last few years, we've lost a few. And, but when I come back up here, I think about them. And it's great to think about the friends I've made and that the land I'm walking on, I spent time with them here. And, you know, maybe the friends I brought up here when I'm gone, they'll think the same way. But South Dakota is a really special place for me. I love being up here in the breaks. Uh, a lot of my hunting life has been spent coming up here once a year and either hunting pheasant and grouse with my dad or bringing friends out to hunt big game. Um, it's a place that always is going to be a special place for me in my heart. The friends I've made here, the relationships I've made, they're going to last the rest of my life. You know, we don't, we don't just do stuff and put hats on for people because, you know, that, that'd be pretty obvious. So I would never put a guy's rope and horse training hat on during the show, just so you know.